Hey, you're watching Half Zip, the Lockpick and Welder. On today's episode, we're going to continue the uh, progressive lock list with the Master Lock Model 570. It's a pretty cool lock. Um, it's uh, got a dead core, which means that there's no tension on the core. So um, tensioning is a little bit interesting. You can't exactly like release tension all that well. Um, it also doesn't have a spring on the shackle, which is neat also. So it doesn't just pop out. And you have to actually, if you're picking it like up like this or something, you have to pull it out. I usually pick it upside down so that it just kind of falls out. Um, it's a it's a neat lock, you know. It's a master lock, so it's nothing too crazy. It does have security pins. Um, I think there's like four spools or something like that. It's a five pin lock. Um, it gives you some decent feedback, but really depending on how much tension you use. If you go for like light or medium tension, you're not really going to get a whole lot of feedback, and it's going to be kind of easy to overset pins. What I found is using a pretty decent amount of tension, like you know, borderline heavy tension on this thing um, gives you some really nice feedback. You get some nice clicks and stuff, and it uh, works out a little bit better. Um, I've got the Medusa out again because I figured I would uh, give it a try raking it. Now, again, with uh, the tension, you know, with the dead core, it's going to make it a little bit interesting. I can't be too light with the tension, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, the Medusa's been pretty good for me, so I figured why not give it another try. So... Uh, we'll do that. Okay, so first off, again, I'm going to try to uh, rake it open with the Medusa. So I'm going to be using the uh, bottom of the keyway tension. Just works out a little bit better for raking so that you don't pull the uh, tension tool out. And, uh, I mean, medium tension, I guess. Nothing too crazy, but uh, not too light either. So I'm just going to get it in there. Just give it some tension, and, uh, oh wow, <laughs> okay, that was, I didn't even get it open that fast off camera, so, uh, there we have it, let's just see, that was incredibly quick, I want to try that one more time, just in case that was some kind of fluke, what's interesting about this particular lock, not the 570 in general, but my 570 is that occasionally, when I open it, it's super tight, like the core um, just doesn't want to turn, and I'm almost wondering if there's like a, a, I don't know, a pin that's getting stuck or part of the spring is getting stuck, but anyway, and there we go. Wow, okay, so that was really, really quick to get it open, and I mean, that's why they call raking a, uh, you know, low-skill, fast entry attack, right? It's, it's meant for quick entry, and... Uh, and a low amount of skill required to get it open. So from here, I'm going to try uh, single pin picking, and we'll see how, how that goes. Okay, so for the single pin picking, it's going to be a little bit different, because I'm going to be giving it a lot more tension than with the raking. I mean, obviously, that's usually what you do with the raking. You want kind of lighter tension, but this thing just needs seems to need um, a lot heavier tension to really get anything to happen. Um, again, it's five pins. I'm using the old Peterson's uh, H1, 25 thousandths, uh, and it works pretty well. It's a little bit tricky to get in there, but I just kind of uh, dig the pins up in it, and it seems to work out all right. So let's see what we got here. Starting with pin one, which with the amount of tension I'm using is going to bind. So we've got a little click on one, two... I think, did I instantly overset something? No, I mean, one definitely seems, one's flopping around, but I'm not feeling anything on the other pins. So let's, uh, let's try that again. So, decent amount of tension, get under one. There we go. Okay. Okay, so click on one. Moving on to two. Got a little click on two. Okay, we dropped into a false set on three. Four. Four is binding, counter rotation. And, uh, okay. 
Do I have another one? <laughs> like, I swear. I only touched four pins. I mean, it's tough to say looking at the key, but it almost looks like three and four could be at sheer. I mean, they're pretty close. Maybe four is a little bit higher, one of them maybe, but, well, whatever. That was uh, the Master Model 570 uh, raked with the Medusa and uh, single pin picked with the uh, Petersons. So that was the Master Model 570. It's a pretty neat lock. Um, another kind of cool thing about this lock uh, is the uh, the core, or the cylinder, the end of the core. Um, when I first caught this, well, I actually bought it because I saw this in the picture and I figured, oh, it's it's repinnable. That's that's awesome, right? It's got a little pin there. You can see this thing is is very loose. The core itself, or the cylinder, is very loose. So I figured, oh, this is definitely guttable, repinnable, whatever. But it is not um, at all. <laughs> this pin, if you do drill out this pin or you know grind down and pull out the pin, you can get the core out. But apparently, it's um, it's not actually guttable. There's no like C clip that you can remove or anything like that. So while you can get the uh, the core out by taking this little pin out, you're kind of stuck from there. Um, you can't really do much from there. I had an idea of like taking the pin out and replacing it with like a screw or something like that so that I could get it in and out. But if it's not guttable um, without like pretty much destroying the thing then it's not, you know, there's no point in it. And I don't think anything else is going to fit in there. Um, like I've got some of these 7240s, but eh, I don't know if that would actually fit in that body. So whatever, that's fine. They're just trolling us with this fake rekeyable or fake removable cylinder. But anyway, Master Lock Model 570, uh, raked and single pin picked. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and uh, take care.